when you receive the crimper, it'll be down and because it's going to fit inside the box better. But basically you're going to have to take this handle, loosen it, it's spring loaded, it's completely multi-positional, whichever easiest for you to put pressure on it, and you're going to raise the head up on the column so the lines meet. This line here to get it on center and that line there for height. Once you have that, lock it down, insert the uh, pressure gauge. You want to be up around eh, 100 psi or so and stall your air into the back of the regulator. You're going to take your container, place your valve in, put the furrow on top, press down, insert the container. Spin it, make sure it's nice and perpendicular, it's square. Done. Down. Remove. Now you have a crimped container. Now I'll insert the dip tube. We'll take it over here. You'll have this mounted down. The crimper also must be mounted down. It's very top heavy. Lock that over. Insert a dip tube. And then you'll have your little pusher rod. And remove. Tip tube is inserted. That's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, this must be mounted down, and also the crimper must be mounted down. It's very top heavy. If that was a fall, it'll definitely hurt somebody. Uh, if there's any other questions, uh, please feel free to contact me. This dip tube assembler, when you do get it, you're going to have to take this piece right here and assemble it because it will not be assembled like this. Basically this is going to come separate and this is going to come separate, these three pieces. You just have to install that on the back of the collet just until it just tightens up by hand. That's well enough. Now this is your collet adjustment tool and what that's for if you ever need to adjust the stop on the collet inside the collet here There's your collet stop. And that would be to increase your depth or to decrease your depth. You have to take this collet out. The collet should just be in hand tight. That's the collet stop. This fits in there nice and snug. You will loosen this set screw here and you can either increase or decrease your crimp depth. And this top upper screw locks the mandrel, which goes into the pneumatic cylinder. And put that in there. And line that up in the cylinder. And we just screw just till it's just till it's snug. You'll know if it ever comes loose because it won't be crimping. The only maintenance that's required on this, just a little bit of grease on the edge of the collet. Just a real thin film. And then we actuate it. And we wipe off all the excess because we don't want any grease on our container. That every five, six hundred times. Crimps, you'll be fine.